So I know you're tired of trying to shower the golf club, but really getting nowhere with it. It's frustrating, right? It is the move that eludes so many golfers from new to the game, playing the game a while, experienced low, mid, high handicap golfers. It's hard to get. Now, I don't say this often because there are so many things out on YouTube where it's like, this is the number one, this is that. But I promise you, this is the number one drill that I use on the lesson tee. So it's basically like taking a lesson with myself to get you to shallow the golf club. This video, oh, just gonna have to watch it because I promise you you're gonna feel that shallowness you're gonna feel like you can attack the ball from the inside everything you're not doing right now so we're gonna do this video using our driver because if we're perfectly honest this is the club that we want to have the most success with so every time we walk onto the tee whether that be the 18th or the first we can peg it up and have that confidence to attack that golf ball like this, shallow and from the inside. Now you probably tried this whole shallowing move before and well, you've had that real instance of right, okay, I'm gonna shallow that golf club so much and I actually start hitting it further right. So if you're starting to hit it, starting right of target, hitting it further right of target, we know that we're sort of coming a little bit more from the inside. But the one thing that's super eluding us uh, is, well, control of this club face. You would be creating something a little bit like this. And that's no good for anybody because that's gonna be disheartening and, well, just feel like we're getting nowhere. So the first thing you've got to understand with this part of the video is, we've got to understand that if we're gonna shower the club, we've got to strengthen the face. So to do this, and I would really, really encourage you to follow along with this. So watch this video now, save it, use it down the range and follow the steps that I'm about to take. If you've got a tennis racket, that's gonna be super handy. Also, what you're gonna to have to grab here is a tennis racket and a alignment stick, and this will make your life so much easier. Don't worry if you don't have these things, just grab an alignment stick to begin with. Getting into a really nice, strong golf posture, I want you to make your best version of your turn in the backswing. Now, the first element to part A is for you to get this alignment stick to be lying flat like this. So let's say parallel to the ground whilst staying in posture. I don't want you to create this move right now like this. I want you to create this first move like this, like this, like this. So you can really see what I'm getting the shaft angle to do. I'm getting it to sit flat, really, really shallow, super over-exaggerated. Now, when I get people to do this in a lesson, I tell them to exaggerate it as much as they possibly can. You won't believe how much you can do this, because when you hit the shot, you'll find the middle ground. So taking it to the top again, part A, stage one, is this move. Now, all I want you to do is work on this transition now, is just add a little bit of turn like this into this shallowing move. So the second part of part A will simply just look like this. See how I'm keeping myself in posture? I'm not standing up like this. So to top off what part A is, we're looking for you to create a move like this. Okay, you've now completed part A. And the one thing that I would recommend to you right now is this. Watch this video in its entirety. Maybe even make some notes and save this video and then listen to me on the range, your next practice session, following stages A and stages B to really get this into your game fully. 
Okay, so we finished part A. We now have to get the understanding of, well, if I'm shallow in the club, how do I square the face? This is so key because this is how you don't hit them high, right, good night. This is how we actually hit them, whoo, high, draw, baby. Let's fast forward now to the second part of this, part B. Part B is, well, the part of this video where we replace the alignment stick with our golf club. But I still want you to keep your tennis racket. So grabbing them both together, it's not gonna be easy to grab, but it's just to build your understanding. Swinging it to the top, this is part A, okay? So the club is ridiculously shallow. Now we've got to understand, if I carried on like this, my club face, like we said at the start of the video, is gonna point significantly off to the right. So what we've got to get the understanding is that we need our left wrist to feel as though it bows. Now, this is a feeling. The one thing that I would say to most golfers is it'll feel like this move. Your knuckles working away from your watch, not closer to your watch because that results in a wide open face. High right, good night, <laughs> okay? So if we sort of play this whole move and the second stage to part B is completing that turn to target. Now look where my strings are pointing now. My strings represent my club face and therefore it's now pointing more to target. So if we're bringing part A and part B together just using the driver, and the tennis racket, we're looking for a move like this. Really exaggerated into the golf ball. So to bring them both together, I'm gonna to get you to hit some shots slowly, but where you can't exaggerate this whole motion enough. So something like this. Give it a few waggles. shallow and turn in posture to start it, knuckles and turn to target. So our, our slow-mo versions of what you're gonna do, and you're gonna call them slow-mo swings, like this. We're not gonna worry too much about if that ball gets in the air or it doesn't. What we are gonna worry about is you actually implementing this into your game right away. So, again, bit of a faster version to last time. Look at that, draw in mini draws. And then until you feel comfortable to give this a little bit more speed, to where you can hit it down the fairway. Because this is where we want to get to, right? We want to get in that situation where we know we can attack that golf ball comfortably from the inside. Now, I think the best part about this video is let's just summarize this move in its entirety. So we're looking for this, right? We said part A, and I'm just gonna keep my driver in my hand for this part is this, allowing the club to work like this for you to get the feeling of how we're starting the shallowing motion. Part A, part one. Part A, part two was this motion applied in with a little bit of this. So turning in posture. As you move into part B, we had the understanding that if we're gonna shell the club, we've got to be able to square the face. So we're gonna bring that in with some more turn. Really exaggerated. Now never in a month of Sundays is that gonna be what's gonna happen. But you get on the first tee, you get on the 18th with a good score in your hand, you know you're gonna revert a little bit more back to type, as I call it. What's comfortable? So you being able to do this, get this right, is your route to success. Hit this one away. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really do hope you followed those stages. And as I said, as we went through the video, save it, pause it, 
rewind it, write some notes down because that is how you're actually going to see these improvements. Thank you for watching and I look forward to joining you tomorrow with some more content that's going to help you improve your golf and just something that's going to be fun for you to watch. Thanks for watching.